hi, hello, and good afternoon. My name is Amanda, and welcome to The Done Creative. For today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different than what you've seen on my channel here in the past. We are going to be strengthening our intuitive muscle. Before we get into this, I'd like to say a quick thank you for all your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It's really meant a lot to me, and at the time of this filming, I'm currently sitting at 99 subscribers, and I did mention a few videos back I wanted to do some sort of 100 subscriber giveaway, and I'm thinking that I want to do a three-card personal reading. Look for the video coming up on the 100 subscriber giveaway and what you would need to do to win that. But without taking any more time away from this video, I'm just going to explain what we're going to do. A really good way to try to tap into that intuition is to close your eyes, take a couple of cleansing deep breaths, and really just try to focus on your heart center or your you know, solar plexus, which is kind of right under your heart. Just try to really feel into that space within you and keep taking those deep breaths and really just try to clear your mind and then think in your mind, heart stone, flower, butterfly, heart stone, flower, butterfly, which one is it going to be? And after a moment or two, you may start to see one. If you have a photographic memory or someone who can really visualize things, you may see a, like a circle or a light around either the heart stone, the flower, or the butterfly, or you may get the word pop up into your mind or even see it spelled out in your mind. You may hear the word in your mind it all depends on what kind of gifts you have that are the most developed, the way that this intuition will come to you. And this is just one way to tap into your intuition. There are probably, I haven't looked, but there are probably other videos here on YouTube that talk about how to tap into your intuition. This is just the way I do it. I know we're all different, we're all walking different paths, we all come in with different spiritual gifts that are more enhanced than others, but whatever way it is that you tap into that gut feeling or that intuition, use that method while doing these videos. A lot of times when you do a pick a card reading and the message doesn't quite resonate, it's because you're trying to pick with your eyes or your mind and not really zero in on that gut feeling or that intuition. And a lot of times, if we're not used to using our intuition, we don't know what that feels like. Today I wanted to do a quick exercise where you try to hone in on your intuition and zero in on it. And if you guys like this video, I'm thinking of doing this as a series and we're going to get more complicated and harder as we go along. So. If you actually do like this video, click the thumbs up and also drop me a comment below letting me know what you thought, if you guessed right, or whatever. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have you guys focus in on this heart stone, this flower, and this butterfly. And just really try to figure out which one of these three items that I am going to be putting in this gold treasure box. So. I'm going to give you guys a minute to look over and really hone in on which one of these three items you think I'm going to be putting in this treasure box. You may even want to press the pause button to really try to get in touch with that gut instinct. And after that, you can unpause the video or just move forward and you will try to guess which one of these items is in the box and I will reveal it. So I will give you a moment to look these over. Okay, let's see how you did. Do you think I put in the heart stone, the flower, or the butterfly? Last chance to change your mind. I put in the treasure box the flower. All right, let me know how you did. Even if you didn't guess right, let me know the process that you took to trying to get in touch with that intuition. Like I said, I'm going to be doing more of these videos to really try to strengthen that intuitive muscle. Again, thank you so much for checking this out. This was something a little different for me, but I'm hoping you guys enjoyed it. 
It's something that you can just take a couple minutes out of your day and really center yourself and try to work on practicing that intuition so that when you are using your intuition, you know what it feels like. When we tap into our emotions and our gut feelings and all of that, there's no logic involved. So our society doesn't deem that most of the time an appropriate way to make decisions. But like Steve Jobs, for example, he talked openly about using his intuition in his business decisions. And it's not something you can point a finger to or use a bar graph or anything like that to determine. It's just this feeling that comes from within. And in some people, it's stronger than in others. But just because you haven't used your intuition a lot in the past doesn't mean that you can't use it moving forward. Just like anything else in your life, if you want to become a good swimmer, a writer, good at some sort of sport or something, you have to practice. You can't just say, oh, I'm going to do that and then magically do it. I mean, there are a few that have really natural talents and things, but for the most part, if we want to learn something, we've got to practice and practice and practice some more. So let me know below what you thought of the video and if you think this is a good idea for a series here on my channel. Thank you so much and I hope you come back to The Done Creative. Bye!